Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer. Welcome back to another boring but really important React.js tutorial. And in this video, we are going to quickly talk about using custom font icons and local images in React.js. I know these are not very complex topic and most probably a simple Google search might give you all the answers that you need but really don't want to push you to that limit. And since these things are little different right here from Vanilla.js, I'm going to talk about them. So as you can see here, I already have things that I need. Okay, I have downloaded two photos. Here you have this library, you can simply do a Google search react icons and you're going to get this website. Uh, first of all, okay, this is the website that you will see it has a lot of icons that we're going to use. And last but not the least, I have this very weird font out there. And it's only so that when I use this, you can just you know, you can have a very simple visual representation of really font have changed. Anyway, so moving forward, first thing first, what I have to do is that I have to simply copy this line to actually install this react icons. I don't want to save it. I just want to install it. We'll go back to our terminal. It's the same project that I was talking about in the last video, the bootstrap one, but here I'm just going to put the react icons too. Okay. Now once this is done, next thing that we have to do is go to your text editor and here in my source folder, I have a folder called images and this has two images. Okay images that I'm going to use. I can simply rename it for simplicity. So let's say IMZ and IMZ2. Okay, great. Now let's go back here first. And now that this has been installed, let's start this. Okay, first thing first, I want to use a simple font. So this is the really weird font that we're going to use. So to do that, all that I have to do is to select this style. Once you select as you can go, as you can see, I don't want this, I have selected this particular style. Okay, now you can either use import or you can use link. If you're using link, all that you have to do is to go to public HTML and insert that here. Okay. If you're using import, you can, you know, insert it in any CSS file. And I really want to make things simple and you know, like very separated from public folder. I'm simply going to use this import. Okay. Copy. Let's get back here. Now, where do I want to put that? Since I'm using bootstrap. Okay. Most people will say to put that here. And okay, that makes sense, but you might not be using bootstrap or you might be using any other library and you might not have this main.scss file there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to this index.css file. Why? Because you remember in my index.js, I'm going to render this index.css to its global CSS. So anything that I apply here will be applied globally. And I'm going to simply put this import here and sorry, I want to simply put this import here. This will import the font that we need and as you can see this is a simple CSS rule I'm going to actually copy this let's go back here and I have this I'm simply going to comment this out okay like obviously you will just replace that one name here because you want this all to exist but I'm going to simply put this here save this let's go back and this is our react app let's refresh and hey this is our really weird font and hey this is up and running okay this is perfect great so that's one thing done. Well, now let's talk about using react icons and you have already installed the entire library. I'll simply search for let's say edit and this will give me a lot of options. So for example, I want to use this bi edit alt. I'll simply click on this and this will be copied to my clipboard. All right, I'll go back here and here in my button, I want that icon too. So I'm going to add this one right in here. Okay, most of the time it will auto suggest you where you want to import it from. If it doesn't, that's completely fine. All that you have to do is to just put it right here. Let's go on top and we are going to import it. So we have to import bi edit alt from react icons and this is going to come from bi. Okay. And let's save it. Let's go back and here we are going to get this particular edit icon here. Okay. You can, you know, you can make some changes here too. For example, this will have some props like size. So our size could be, let's say 64, let's save here. And now we have a very huge icon here. We also have props like color and stuff. So you can easily change that too. Okay. That's red and that's red. So that's two things done. Last but not the least is we have to use images and you might wonder that, Hey, what I'm, why I'm trying to explain you how to use local images. Okay. Because you see using local images is kind of different here. You can easily use a, um, a URL. For example, I have an image tag here. Okay. And uh, this is the image that I want to use. All right. Let's say I click on this. I do copy a uh, link. Sorry, where is copy image link? I come back here and I'm saying that the source is basically going to be this particular link. Let's save this. Let's put an alt tab here. 
and that says my let's save let's go back here to our react app and here we have this image right but how do you make sure that this particular image to local image is displayed there now to do that what you have to do is to import this particular image as a variable so what we do here is that we do something like import you can put your own variable name whatever you like i want to do like my image from it is going to come from dot slash images slash img2 dot jpg okay save this now you have to simply copy this and you have to replace this here as a javascript variable and what that means is this is going to be in this curly brackets let's save this now we have this my image replaced here this my image is nothing but this particular image which we are importing let's save this let's go back and as you can see we have that image here i mean i know it's very simple but if you don't know it it's it matters a lot right so that's pretty much it from my side in this video we have discussed about using any custom font icons and local images in your react.js project these things work everywhere irrespective of what library you are using what front end framework you are using and anything as such so i'll catch up soon in the next video talking more about react.js and well whatnot